Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, I'm going to show you something that I've been trying out. I'm trying to grow soil in a pot, not just in any pot, but in five to ten gallon pots. I think this is a five or ten gallon pot. Maybe you can tell better, but it's a massive pot. If you remember last Christmas season, I actually got some some small containers, containers like this. And if you remember this container also, I did a video recently on how to actually use coconut coir or coconut husk or fiber to retain moisture in your plants. So this is it. You can check out that video. But last year, I mainly grew my soil in pots like this. It didn't produce a lot, but at least I got to have some. So this year, I decided I'm going to try out big. And I got at least seven containers or what we call pails, so seven, five to ten gallon pails. And I decided I'm gonna give it a try. Now, the reason why I decided to actually grow out sorrel or roselle in pails yet again this year is because I'm still experiencing the same problem where some of my plants are dying from some form of root rot. From my experience, I think I can conclude that the main problem is the moisture in the soil. Because so far, these are alive only because I decided to use river sand in the pot. However, I did not use river sand in the entire pot or in the entire container. I mainly use river sand which is like 75% of the entire soil or sand in this pot. But at the bottom part of it, it's loamy soil. The main reason I decided to use river sand at the top of the container and loamy soil at the bottom is that this area right here is where it usually starts to rot. Before when I uproot the trees, this area there is totally rotten and then the bottom of the base of the root system is actually doing pretty well. Even if the root system is very good at the bottom, because this area there is no longer able to actually allow moisture and nutrients to pass through here to come to the leaves, the plant usually dies. That's why before, as I showed you in another video, if you do a cutting or if you cut it from a certain area and you put in the soil, it will continue to grow for you. Now, so far it's doing pretty well. What happened is that this area right here is not able to retain moisture good at all. So basically when I wet it right here, the water goes down quick. However, at the bottom of the container or at the base of the container, because it's loamy soil, it's able to retain moisture a lot better than the river sand at the top. If you're experiencing the same problem, I would like to encourage you to actually grow out your soil in a massive 5 to 10 gallon container to try it out. Put 25% of the soil as loamy soil with compost material at the bottom of the container and then 75% with sandy, very very sandy or river sand, 75% at the top of the container and see if it will work out for you. Now hopefully next year I will use the same idea but I will actually do it in the ground. So I will show you how I'll do it next year, God's willing. I will do the same thing, I will dig a hole deep, at least 5 gallons to 10 gallons, you know the capacity of a pail like this it up with river sand with the hope that when I plant the soil in river sand it will grow out nicely and survive in the river sand but it roots the roots which taking up nutrients will actually penetrate or go into the loamy soil in the backyard garden and it will actually survive so so far this test worked well I can tell you I can testify that it worked well it's almost three months now and all the soil in the pail they're doing okay as you can see even from the root system here they're, they're white they're doing pretty well and as I told you, once you pour water here, it goes on very quick and also you could utilize the idea for the bottle, full water in the bottle and just stick it in there and allow it to go down into the soil very, very efficiently and slowly. If you observe, they are very tall and that's because they were in the greenhouse for about two months now. So I put them out into the open so that they could get stronger and I pruned it 15 days before full moon. So that allowed it to actually sell out more branches. So they're doing much better because of that. They're looking stronger because they are now out into the open and I pruned them before full moon. So they had time to send out branches on the side. So from November to December, it's hopefully developed and flower. So I would like to encourage you to actually try your best to grow your roselle or soil plants in a pot, especially if you don't have a lot of land space or if you're experiencing the same problem with the root rot. Thank you very much for liking our video, thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel and thank you for liking our Facebook page. And also thank you for following us on Instagram and on Twitter. Remember you could also send us a message on our WhatsApp number 1-767-617-0224. Remember, backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agro suede is out.